to my glossy box review of the December box and unboxing-ish of the January box. Glossy box is $20, $21 a month. Um, I am not sent these for review. These I paid for outright. I did get a deal on guilt. Dot com, one of those flash sale websites, so I don't pay full price for it. But no matter what, you guys know that none of that influences my review at all. I'm always going to give you my honest opinion, um, and I have opinions for you of these products. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the December box and what I thought of things in here. So first of all, I just love the box. The box is just so stinking cute. I love it. Um, and then it comes with this here, which shows you all the products, which I love. Um, gives descriptions, gives you prices, all of that. So let me tell you, let's start off with this product because I'm ashamed that I didn't actually use this yet. I feel really, really bad. I got a Julep mystery box um, that had a bunch of really cool colors in it. I got a Julep subscription box and I love my Juleps and I honestly forgot about this. Overall, I have enjoyed Color Club nail polishes overall. I'm going to bring this back in the January review, February unboxing video and give you more opinion on this. I don't want to lie and pretend like I used this when I really truly didn't. So we're just going to have to bring it back and I'm just going to have to apologize profusely. Uh, this is in the shade Feverish. It is a deep burgundy red and I have 50 million shades like this so it just doesn't call to um, me. This is the Color Flex Home Care Leave-In Treatment and Detangler with Color Strength Technology. Now because I only use this maybe four or five times I can't really speak to the Color Strength Technology of it. I can say it is a very nice leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna smell it because I forget what it smells like. doesn't really have much of a scent. It has kind of a like a soapy kind of scent, like a fresh, clean, soapy kind of scent. Um, it's supposed to help your hair color stay in longer, and I haven't used it enough to be able to speak to that. The problem with this and me is that I have very thin hair, so I don't need detangling of my hair. Uh, so I really need to just put this on my kid and see if it detangles her hair, because she's got like nice thick hair, like the way mine was when I was seven. Um, so I need to use this on her. As far as a leave-in treatment, I mean, my hair feels nice after I use it, but it just hasn't done anything magical for me and I really don't blame the product. I think it's just my hair and only using it four or five times. This product here, this is the Oro Gold Cosmetics Hand Cream. I did read a little bit more about this and some of the people in the comments told me that there is some kind of gold in this. Um, it just says the ultimate hand cream for all skin types combining essential vitamins and oils, non-greasy, blah, 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 blah. So I was using this and really enjoying it until today. Today is the coldest day that we have had this season. And I put it on my hands and my hands started burning so badly that I like I had to wash it off because it hurt so bad because my hands were so incredibly dry because of the season. So if you have incredibly dry skin, you probably don't wanna use this. If you just have normal to dry skin, you may like this. Or if you have oily skin, you may like this. But if your hands are really dry, it stings like a expletive deleted. Okay, another product that was not a standout product to me was the MTJ High Definition Mascara. It was just an ordinary mascara. I have drugstore mascaras that are that I feel like perform better than this. I'll show you the wand here. It is a very strange, bubbly looking wand. Don't feel like the wand did anything magical for me. Um, and I don't know, it wasn't particularly wet, it wasn't particularly dry, it wasn't particularly lengthening, it wasn't particularly volumizing, it wasn't bad. It just didn't make me go, yes, that's a good mascara. You know what I mean? It was just very mediocre. I wish I had better things to say, I just don't. But what I do have good things to say about is this eyeshadow here. This is a glossy box eyeshadow in the shade Glossy Mauve, and it says Dobner Cosmetics for Glossy Box. And I am really excited about this eyeshadow. It is so creamy, and the lasting power is wonderful. It's just a really nice shade. I've used this up in my crease quite a few times. I hope Glossy Box continues to make more products. I am relatively new to Glossy Box, so I don't know if this is their first makeup product, but I really enjoyed this a lot. I think it's a wonderful eyeshadow. So overall with this, I mean, I feel like it was just a very meh kind of box. I mean, I pay about $8.50 for this box. I definitely think it was worth well more than $8.50. I don't think it's worth $20.
That's, that's kind of the way I'm feeling right now about the December box. Let's go ahead and move into the January box. So for January, we didn't get any kind of fancy schmancy box, but I saw that February we are getting a fancy schmancy box, so I'm excited about that. I've tried a few things in here, but not everything. The thing that I've tried the most is this Emmet or Emite Makeup by Artist for Artists Diamond Heart Base Primer Illuminating. If you saw my last What's Up in Makeup episode, I was wearing this and that was, I think, what was responsible for my glowy finish. This really does leave a luminous glow to the skin. If you do wear a mattifying foundation over top, it will cancel out a lot of the luminosity, but if you wear a regular foundation or a luminous foundation, you will have that luminous look with this. It's just a very um, lotion-y kind of primer. It's very nice. It comes off that pink sh peachy shade, but it doesn't stay like that. It ends up just kind of blending out so that you can't see it at all, but it does leave a nice luminosity and I'm really happy with this so far. All right, this next product I haven't tried this time, but I have tried it before. This is the Beautiful Nutrition Lemon Rinse. It says it's a gentle clarifying treatment. This did horrible things to my hair when I used it before. I will not be putting this back on my hair. It dried out my ends so bad. Like from here down, it was a frizzy straw mess. And I use a lot of leave-in conditioners and conditioning masks and stuff on my hair because it is color treated. So it dries out pretty easily. Um, so I will be passing this along to someone with oilier hair than me. It's just, it was really bad on my hair. So I'm definitely gonna be passing this along. I'm not opening this, I'm just not not even messing with that. Uh, and the one thing that I did try that I don't have here with me because I seem to have misplaced it somewhere, my kid probably took it, is probably what happened because she loved it. It's the 714 Foot Nourishing Cream. It says winter is the most unfavorable season for dry, cracked soles. And it says it's got Dead Sea and aloe vera leaf juice and all that kind of stuff. So she loved this. I gave her a little baby foot massage, my little seven-year-old, and she was like in heaven. It smells very lotion-y. It feels really good on the skin and I'm enjoying this so far I but I just misplaced it I don't know where it is so hopefully I find it before the uh, the January review and the February unboxing this I have not tried yet because it's a very spring like color and I just can't bring myself to use it this is the me 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 lip glide it's a velvet finish lip color and I will show you what that swatch is like it's just like bright April you know, <laughs> what? Like it's like May flowers and, and it's supposed to be like a blizzard this weekend. I can't bring myself to put this on my lips. I'm sure I will, even if it's just wearing it around the house on a snow day or something to test it. But it's like, this is just not a shade I would wear. And that's just me. Like I know there's no real rules in makeup, but for me, this is not a shade I feel comfortable wearing in the winter time. Um, I'm more of like a mauve kind of person in the winter time. This looks better on like my, when I, my skin gets a little self tanned and everything. But I mean, it seems very creamy and it seems very nice. Doesn't really have a scent to it, which is really good. Uh, maybe a tad bit of a lipsticky scent, but not bad. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try this at some point, but. I wish they hadn't sent such a springy color. And then the last thing in here is Royal Apothic Cream Cream. Cream Creme. Cream Creme? Cream Creme. It's a moisturizing body cream. Supposedly it exfoliates as well. You're supposed to put it on after the shower. And I have not even opened this yet. Um, let me see. Yeah. Oh, I did. I must have opened it. But I don't remember it. it smells lotiony but I'm gonna have to use it for its intended purpose. So January I feel like is a little bit better than the December box so far. Um, maybe, I don't know though. I mean like, I mean the primer is really nice, but I'm gonna have to try this. I'm gonna have to try this. The foot cream is awesome and this is horrible for me. So I don't know, we're still on the fence with the, uh, the January box. We're gonna have to try things a little more before we do a full review. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you wanna see the review of this later, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right there. You just have to push that little button and it'll take you to my channel and you can subscribe so that you don't forget to watch the unboxing uh, and review for um, January, February. And that's all I wanna tell you. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well, mad love. And if you did get, actually there was one more thing I wanted to ask you. If you got either of these glossy boxes, I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. If you've ever tried any of these products before, would love to hear what you think in the comments below. Let's have a little discussion about it. Thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate it, mad love, and I'll see you soon. Bye.